Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? I'm the kind of person that overthinks a lot of things, which is pretty much the main reason I can't handle anything horror related. And very often, I'll find myself just relaxing, playing a game, or watching a movie, and then I'm using up my brain power just asking these meaningless questions that really have nothing to do with the product overall. It's really remarkable how the Founding Fathers were able to create the Constitution for, at the time, this was such a unique and innovative form of government. I mean, if we were to apply this nowadays, it would be really difficult yeah, to- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, dude. I really couldn't care less. I'm just here because my major required this class. Just tell me what I need to know for the test. Thanks. Huh, I wonder why every single one of Riley's memories is portrayed in the third person. Could this possibly have something to do with how she views herself as a person? Oh yeah, and when I say overthinking Disney movies, I am not referring to anything like this. Dude, what if all the characters in this movie are actually dead? Bro, bro, maybe, maybe it's all actually a dream. And none of this is real, dude. Oh, oh man. Those kinds of theories were kind of interesting at first, but now it's just a laughable meme at this point. But anyway, enough with the rambling. Let's get into the meaningless questions. So, how does food work in Zootopia? I mean, sure, they have farms and stuff, but they also have ice cream shops. How do they have dairy? Are there just a bunch of other cow civilians who are hired to be milked for the grocery store? Because that's pretty messed up if it is. Also, they do baking, like, pies and stuff. Where do they get eggs from? Are there chickens in this universe? And if there are, did they just not evolve with everyone else? What a ripoff! Also, if you think about it, you're buying unfertilized eggs from hens. So whenever you're cooking eggs for breakfast, you're essentially eating a chicken's period. I guess everyone in Zootopia is just a hardcore vegan. But then again, Nick did sell a skunk rug to someone, so maybe they do willingly sell their bodies? Would buying a fur rug be like buying a wig from someone? In fact, how do they do clothes? Do they have wool? Do they have leather? How would they get it? Would they dig up a cow graveyard for their skin? Jeez, being a cow in Zootopia must be the worst life ever! So recently, the trailer for Wreck-It Ralph 2 was released, so let's start thinking about that. In Wreck-It Ralph, they must have multiple copies of the most popular games in the arcade. So, if they had another console, would there be duplicates of the characters? And would the duplicate be able to die in the other copy's games and still regenerate? Or would they have to be in the game that they originated from? Do they feel the pain when they die? In the trailer for Wreck-It Ralph 2, they show them going into the internet and like going to your home stuff like your iPads and stuff. Would Wreck-It Ralph work for, like, home gaming systems? Would ejecting the disc or pulling the cartridge out be the same as pulling their plug, having to take Sanctuary in the console, hoping in vain that you put the game back in? What would happen to characters from crappy games? They didn't choose their game to be like that. Would they just accept to be homeless because you never want to play their game? Gee, it sure is boring around here. And if glitches can't leave their game... What would happen to games that are known for their glitches? Would they disintegrate and then reincarnate every single time you take the game in and out? And how would, like, Game Central Station work for handhelds? Would they be forced to be inside the system, slowly losing life until you decide to charge it again? And what would happen to, like, Tiger Electronic games? If you bought a sequel or a remaster, would it duplicate the same characters? How many Marios would I have in my electrical outlet then? Can past design characters be disgusted with their modern designs? And how would, like, figurine characters like Skylanders or Amiibos work? Ugh, okay, my brain is starting to hurt now, so let's just do one more movie and then we'll call it quits. How does the curse in Beauty and the Beast determine what inanimate object each person turns into? Is it their personality, their body structure, or their role in the castle? They have eyes, a mouth, and a tongue. Where are their organs? Where is their brain? What would happen if you dropped a dish on the floor? Like, 
Is everything alive in this castle? What if Belle's bed is a dude? Is the mirror alive too? Is the toilet alive? These were all people at one point, right? So then what the frick is this? Is this carpet his tongue? No, th that's his tongue. So did this carpet just go suicide mission here? This chest is basically one big mouth. Where'd he swallow the guy to? Did he just vaporize him? What'd this guy look like when he turned back into a human? Like, oh, oh, no, no, okay? Forget I said anything, okay? Well, this video probably changed your view on some of these movies, and if it did, I am sorry. But don't overthink about subscribing, because there's nothing confusing about that. It's just, you also have to click the bell, because subscribing says that you like this channel and you want to see more of it, and the bell says that you like this channel and you want to see more of it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This was kind of a fun video to make. Uh, maybe if you guys liked it, then I can do another one in the future or something, but if you thought this was stupid, then I probably won't do it again. Um... Yeah, well, while on the topic of overthinking uh, movies, I just, I watched Infinity War not too long ago. I can talk about this, right? Mar Marvel's Disney, isn't it? So, anyway, I was thinking, like, the whole point to Infinity War was, like, for Thanos to uh, wipe out half of all living things in the universe, to, like, to create balance. But, like, li living things, they reproduce, right? They repopulate. So, isn't doesn't that kind of defeat the whole purpose? Like, it's just gonna eventually go back to where he started. Maybe this was explained in the movie. I, I honestly, I'm having trouble remembering some events because I was so shocked by the ending. But yeah, anyway, yeah, that was just a random thought I had, but couldn't fit into the video. Uh, are there any, like, I don't know, Disney movies you thought were weird or, like, just thoughts from movies that you, like, kept thinking about over and over? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you guys so much for your fan art. Be sure to send it to me on Twitter and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time with Jaden is Dead. I hit my, <laughs> I hit, oh, I hit the frame.